Hello, well, it's the here, John Mandula with another screencast. This one, we're going to do some type manipulations. We're going to try to make a logo type of thing or, ex or exciting heading type of thing. So, we start with this the word fresh. And yeah, let's say, I don't know, it's for some kind of uh, man's shampoo product or soap product, something like that. I'm going to go really quickly because I want to get as much of this as possible. If, I, if it ends before I'm done, that's fine. So, I'm not going to, I'm going to use some keyboard shortcuts. I'm just going to fly through just to give you an idea of how far you can take just a simple word like this. Okay, so I have this, and what I want to do is I want to make the F and the H uh, in a different font. So first I'm going to do is like this, and I'm going to go to Garamond, and I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be lowercase, and I actually want it to be, uh, do I have a bold italic? If I do, I'm going to use that. There we go, bold italic, great. And uh, I actually want it to be a different size, and I want it to be a different angle and things, so I'm going to go here. Uh, and I'm going to go to type, no, I don't want to create all these yet because what I want to do is copy this, put this over here, except this one I want to be the H, very good. Now I'm going to go to type, create outlines, and object on group. And so I'm going to take this and this, holding shift to select both at the same time. I'm going to drag them up while holding shift again so that I can make sure that it's scaled proportionally. And what I'm trying to do is zero one right there so that this lines up well with the top of that R, and uh, right there should do it for now. Fine tune that later. The F or the H also was done with that. It's still not uh, big enough though because you see the H needs to go down to the baseline here. Uh, we have rulers that was Command R, Control R, so it's going to be here, here. I want them to be the same size. So like this again. I'll use the F to be bigger because I need to line up on top of that. R again, a little bit bigger this way. Oh, this part was supposed to go faster. Anyway, we got that. We'll slide this one over. These three shapes I'll select. I'm gonna use my uh, transform panel, and I'm gonna go about 17 degrees, something like that. As you can see now, it's starting to come together. It's a little bit more custom already. Slide the F over so it runs right into the R on purpose. Uh, kind of like a ligature. We've got that. Okay, this is kind of exciting, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these here and I'm going to go to my window pathfinder panel and I'm going to add them all together so they're one solid shape. Uh, so you notice the F and R, there's no division there. So I've got this, I'm going to set the, actually, this whole thing, maybe I'm going to set this at 10 more degrees, like this. Maybe I'm going to go and I'm going to rotate it. Oops. 10 degrees, something like this. And then I am going to go to um, I'm go edit, copy, uh, control C, and then paste in front, which is control F or command F. I've got that one. I'm going to move this one up about like that. This one is going to be red. No, let's do like an icy blue color like that. Be a little bit icier. So back to that. Then I'm going to give it an outline. And because this is a shape and not an object, I can, once I give it the outline, let's say I give it this um, darker blue outline, I can actually go to my stroke panel and I can set that to the outside, which is what I want. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, a little bit more. I like this because now the stroke is becoming so big it's actually like, you know, merging shapes together. For example, you can look at the inside of the R and the S. It's just a stroke. There's no hole in the middle and I like that. And so that is like this. It could be, again, like a men's shampoo product, or it could be gum, it could be whatever it is. I'm going to get rid of that um, guy that I have there. And now I have this, and I'm just finished it off. Maybe I want to call it Ultra Fresh. So again, I'm going to type out Ultra, but I don't want that font. I want the other font I was using, and I'm going to set this. I rotated this one 10, so I'll rotate this 10. We had this one on 17 and then 10, so it's 27 degrees total. Like this, looks a little goofy, but we'll go with it, size that down, put that up in here. Um, a little bit smaller like this, fits nicely in that little pocket of space. And maybe a little bit smaller, my character panel. Maybe set it to a straight 30. Put a little bit of tracking on there and I want to make this um, this and then cut that out so it's like that so already I've done some things